We're here with Sammy again, guys. Uh, one of the drills that we do with the kids and the youth when we warm them up is to go through our four counts. We include within that four count sprawls, break falls, with technical lifts, as well as a shot. Right now, what we're going to do here with Sammy today is we're going to go through those different things, so different techniques. So, Sammy, show us one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Sprawl, break fall. Four kicks, technical lift up. Now we also have our one through four, go four. Three, four, go one, two, three, four. Yep, two, three, one, two, three, four. There you go, and then do our shot. So drop your level, shot, there you go, and then turn the corner. All right, do it again, one, two, three, four, shot. Very good. All right, so break this down just a little bit, guys. Okay. You're gonna do it one more time. Okay, you ready? So one, two, three, four into your shot. Good, shot. Good, turn the corner, and one more time. One, two, three, four, and shot. Very good. All right, now let's break this down a little bit. All right, so we have our jab. So go ahead and throw your jab. Okay, good, bring it back, throw your cross. Okay, turning on the back foot, and then we have one, two, and then three. So let's go jab, cross, hook. One, two, three. We're going to leave this out. Notice here, guys, how Sammy's turning on the front foot. Her weight is going to the back foot. Right? We're looking at the close hook, so our knuckles are going to be facing in. A longer hook, you'd be facing out. It's really a matter of preference, though, for right now. Um, if you are going to go for a longer shot with the hook, you want to go knuckles down, facing down towards the ground. But right now, let's work off of our close hook. Now, when we pull this punch back out, right, we're going to go into our uppercut, and she's going to bring this hand back and then throw a rear uppercut, boom, and pivot on that back foot for me. Very good, all right? Now, knuckles are going to come back and up, right? Remember, we're not dropping our hand down to here and punching way up, right? You're always going to punch from your chin, right? Now, if you sprawl out, hands down, hips down, right? We've done this before, boom. Right, one leg is back, very good, come on up, pop up to your feet, very nice, always in that fighting stance, ready to go. Okay, now we're going to do our break fall, so let's break fall stand. Okay, now, notice again, Sam tucks her chin, right, she knows how to do this, so she's going to go four kicks, one, two, one, two. Okay, we're going to roll to one side of our body, elbow, hip, and then hand, come on up to your foot. Very nice, move both feet, and then we're gonna swing that leg back behind us again. So let's do this a little bit slower, Sammy, so do this break fall one more time. Okay, we'll go one, two, one, two with the kicks. One, two, three, very nice. Roll to one side, so elbow, hip, hand. Good, put your hip, yep. This foot is down on the ground, all right? She's using both hands. Let's come up to your right hand all the way up, and swing and stand. Very nice, okay? So that's our technical lift. Remember, we're not going to sit directly up, guys. We're going to sit and roll over to our side, elbow, hip, and then hand to come up, right? Let's do uh, our shot now. So with our shot, okay, the level change. Now the shot is to enter for a takedown, so we're going to go level change. The front knee hits, guys. So the front knee hits as she drops down. She's going to swing the opposite foot around, and then we're just going to turn the corner. Very good. So this is the drill that you can do at home. Now, go ahead and turn back, please. Okay. Let's go to our shot one more time so we can break this down. So level change, right? Front knee hits, bring that foot around, and then boom, turn the corner. Very good. Okay, good job. Okay. All right, so one of the drills that we can do within this one as well is just do that warm-up drill with the kids at home. You have jab, cross, hook, uppercut, right? That's a really good workout in and of itself. You have some basic movement there with your sprawls. Even if you're just sitting in front of the TV or sitting in, like, in the living room or whatever it is, if you don't have a ton of space, all you really need is just enough space for the kids to just sprawl out and then pop up. All right, so if you have any questions, go ahead. You can contact us, EliteTrainingCenter.net. All right, Mr. T runs the kids program here. I run the youth program here. Sammy is one of our students here at the school. Um, she also is a participant in our Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, team for the kids. We do a no-gi kids uh, competition team. Um, like, subscribe, be notified about all the great stuff that we're doing here at the school. And uh, thanks for watching.